Here at Concept Cards, we manufacture all our cards to the international standard of ISO 7810 or 7811 if it has a magnetic stripe. This is the standard that the banks will accept, the only standard that they will accept. To achieve this standard, we have to laminate the cards. We print onto the core, and then we laminate them with overlays. And in the, in, in the case of these cards, that's with a magnetic stripe, high coercivity magnetic stripe, which comes on the overlay. We have a machine that will put the stripes on separately, but we only tend to use that machine these days when we're using a double stripe. When these have been laminated, which means that they've been subjected to extreme heat and pressure, they come out as one, all fused together, and they go to the next stage, which, in the instance of this particular card, is the application of the signature panel. We use a lamination process on nearly every card that we produce, and we do have a choice of finishes with lamination because you can either have a high gloss finish or a silk finish. We recommend the silk finish for dark colours, especially black, because you'll notice if you ever have had a black bank card, it doesn't take long before they start to look scratched and tatty when they've been taken in and out of the wallet a few times. And not only that, the silk finish does give it a very sophisticated look, much more modern. Uh, when we first started this business, everyone wanted shiny gold on black. No one would even dream of using that now. If we print a black card, it's a silk finish and it has a subtle colour on it. But of course, you can have whatever you want. When we laminate your cards, we laminate it actually as sheets, and they're sandwiched between stainless steel plates, which either have that silk finish or the gloss finish on, whatever we're trying to impart onto your cards. And we put them into the machine, apply 30 tonnes of pressure and heat to somewhere between 120 and 140 degrees centigrade. And that takes about eight minutes to heat right through the stack. And then it goes into a hold and it stays like that for about two minutes. And then the cooling process starts. Water rushes through the platens in the machine, cooling the plastic. When it comes down to just above its VICAP point, which is about 90 degrees centigrade, we apply more pressure. Well, the machine automatically applies another 500 PSI. And that's the point when the plastic is actually starting to set and it imparts the finish of the plates to the sheets. And when we take them out, everything is fused together as one and you have your sheets which are ready to be punched out into cards. Unless you want a signature panel on there and they will be put on first. This isn't uh, quite as long-winded a process as it seems. We're doing it all day and, of course, it is the only way that we can ensure that you do get cards that come up to the ISO 7810 standard. 